Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the sanctuary. This map is completely brand new and it's just hit the workshop and I cannot wait to dive straight in, man. Now, this map right here is created by its Broads, and basically, he is a huge Walking Dead fan and if you go ahead and check out his other workshop maps, you will see that he's created maps such as Wing, uh, he's created a map called Internment, which is insanely good. It's basically based off the prison from The Walking Dead. And of course, right here, we have the one, the only, the Sanctuary, which, of course, he has been posting all about it on his Twitter. And I can't believe it is finally here. I'm so excited to dive in. This is just going to be so damn sick. All right, straight off the bat, we've located Pack-A-Punch. But as you guys can see, it is hidden behind all this fire. So we need to figure out a way to get rid of that. Now, this map does feature an entire Easter egg as well that, of course, you guys know the drill we're about to go ahead and do. Now, the first step is we need to go ahead and locate and turn on the power. So let's go ahead and open up this door right here. Why is there a body in the floor right here? Bruh, you need to brush them teeth. Oh my goodness. Let's go ahead and take out some more zombies because I want to start opening up the map. I want to see what's going on. Okay, this looks interesting. No idea what this is, but it says you must turn on the power. I'm assuming later down the line, that's definitely going to be used for the Easter egg. Oh, the EBR. That's very very, very tempting. I do like that gun. I can't lie. It's only 600 juicy points. I just hear Brutus as well. Is he on this map? I don't know, but I heard something slam shot. Normally when you hear that sound, it means Brutus is in town. Now I've gone ahead and bought this door, but <laughs> I can't lie to you. I'm a little bit scared because I can't see a gun. We do have the MP5. Let's go ahead and grab that real quick. Look at this map. This looks so damn clean. Like I said, guys, Broads loves The Walking Dead. So all of these maps are based on The Walking Dead. And again, if you haven't like already gone ahead and played them, go ahead and test them out because I'm going to go ahead and link all of the maps down in the description down below. So again, that's Internment and Wing and of course today's map, Sanctuary. So definitely, definitely go ahead and check them out. All right, the hunt for the power continues. We see here, come back once all of the teddy bears have been shot. Oh my goodness, it's Negan. It is Negan. Let's go ahead and shoot this guy. Is he going to sprint at me? I have not. Whoa, this guy's fast. This guy is super... Whoa, relax, 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 relax. Yo, this guy is super fast. And he's actually hella strong. Wait, do, do zombies spawn in as well? Yo, chill, 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 chill. Oh my goodness, the zombies actually do spawn in as well. Why is he so fast? This guy is sprinting like he's Usain Bolt. This guy is pacey. Can we go ahead and buy this door over here? I just don't want to get whacked. We can, let's go. Ooh, he is a pacey guy. He is indeed. So he kind of reminds me of like a Brutus in a way. Obviously not that fast, my goodness. Imagine if Brutus was this fast, he would be destroyed. Try and go for the headshots. He's, oh, 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 oh no. Oh no, this is bad. I don't know how he actually got out of that. Can I mantle? Oh, I can. Let's freaking go and I'm out of ammo. Okay, this is bad. This is really, really bad. We got Negan on the hunt. Let's go ahead and grab this massive PKM. Let's freaking go. The big beefy gun. Now we need to take out Negan. Oh, he's dead. Okay, fair enough. I mean, to be fair, we put in hella bullets. We literally sprayed this guy with, what, like 100 MP5 bullets? Looks like he dropped something as well. So let's go ahead and check it out. It looks like a bat of some sort, and I've picked it up. No idea if that's going to go ahead and replace the PKM. Fingers crossed it doesn't, but it does look like it's just a simple pickup, like a death machine. So it's pretty much all right. Aha, power is this way. Let's go. And of course, I can't buy no doors just yet. Oh, I'm loving this bat. I can't lie to you. This bat... It's freaking good. Let's go ahead and crack open this door then. And let's see if we can locate power. We've got an AK-47 on the wall. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Why not? Okay, we've got another one of these bodies. And we've got mule kick and power. It should be close, right? I mean, oh, it's right here in front of my face. Brilliant. Yo, we actually have the inspect animation as well. That is a real touch. Let's go ahead and check out this AK. Look at that. Look at this beauty. Now, believe it or not, a guide is already out on the workshop. So I've actually gone ahead and taken a cheeky look. Just so I can... Uh, you know, understand exactly what the Easter egg steps are. Now, of course, the first step was to go ahead and turn on the power, which we've now done. The second step is we need to go ahead and buy Electric Cherry, which is over here. Now, it's going to set us back 2,000 points, as you guys can see. We're, we're, we're completely broke out here. We've only got 1,000. Right, I'm going to go ahead and make my way back out to the main courtyard, because this probably looks like the safest option. I can't lie to you. I'm loving this AK. It sounds so good. I love Modern Warfare weapons, man. They're just super clean. They sound nice. They look attractive. Everything about Modern Warfare guns are just perfect. Let's go out and take out some more zombies. We've got the Rafika on the wall as well, which is, I mean, it's Beretta, but I always call it the Rafika because Modern Warfare 2. Now, I remember seeing Jug somewhere as well. I think it's all the way at the back towards, I think it's through this door. Is it through here? Oh, no, it is through here. Okay, cool. So we have Electric Cherry, but first thing is first. Let's go ahead and secure our life. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves some cheeky Jug. There we go. Ooh, it's a dog round. I got dogs chasing my ass. That is not good. I mean, I shouldn't really be stressing right here. I've got an AK-47. It's round seven. This is the last dog. Spin round, shoot. There we go. Let's go ahead and grab max ammo. Again, this door is 1,250. And we can go ahead and enter some codes as well. 
which I believe on the notes that I've put down, we need to go ahead and find some uh, some papers around the map, but we're not at that point just yet. I'm not entirely sure how long it took bros to come up with this masterpiece, but it looks freaking good. Ooh, there's so many zombies. Let's go ahead and run up here. I think the zombies can actually climb up as well. So I need, yep, they can. Okay, that's been confirmed. Let's quickly run this way. I was trying to be cheeky, like trying to camp up there, but <laughs> I guess not. I guess not. They can climb from every single direction. I could always train them up here. I mean, not exactly train them. Imagine going around in circles up here. You are you are literally the master of zombies if you can train up here, boy. Right, we've got two zombies left, and we've got enough to go ahead and buy ourselves electric cherry. So the next step on the Easter egg, by the looks of it, is we need to go around and collect three fuses. Now, there is a blood fuse, a furnace fuse, and, of course, a crane fuse. I say, of course, like you guys have actually played this map, so uh, I don't know why I said that. But anyway, pretty much with the blood fuse, we need to get zombie blood and we need to go around the map and look at these like bodies on the floor. Now, the bodies I was talking about are bodies that look like this around the map. Now, according to the guy, there's about seven different locations. I mean, we've seen one over there already and I think I've spotted another one or two. But of course, at this current time, we don't have a zombie blood. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is simply just kill these zombies. And then I'm going to go ahead and make my way outside over here to speed cola and simply we are going to go ahead and grab ourselves the crane fuse so let's go ahead and shoot a couple times and then reload near here and then this is going to activate the crane and then the crane should drop this box and inside should be a nice cheeky crane fuse i think negan is just spawned back in the map because i can hear him whistling i can hear this really really cool sound effect so i'm pretty certain when you hear that noise it means he's in town how many bullets can we do it all in this one clip can we do it can we do it? Come on. Die, 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 die. There we go. Let's go. That sounded bare dodgy. Saying let's go twice in a row. Oh, that's horrible. I wonder if we could like try and get this for the mystery box. Is this a mystery box weapon? Or is this purely only when you kill Negan? If we have an opportunity to like fully secure this bat as a proper primary weapon, I might have to low-key consider it, you know. Honestly, I won't lie to you. The, the bat is so fun. Oh yeah, so there's something I completely forgot about. On the guide, it said once you collect a fuse, you're actually supposed to go ahead and fill up a soul canister and the soul canister for this one is located i don't know ah never mind i have found it let's go ahead and insert the fuse and again all we have to do is just simply kill some zombies and fill up the soul collector now it's probably going to take roughly around 30 to 40 kills oh it's actually going up pretty damn fast i would say about 30 kills that's what i would say 30 maybe 40 at max and since i'm here i'm going to go ahead and spin the box as well because if we can try and get a nice like wonder weapon of some sort that's going to help us out what do we get oh a car Oh, I can't say no to that. Oh, we got the car. And it's the Modern Warfare version as well. Oh, that's so good. But the best thing I'm going to do is maybe train up the zombies out here. And then just bring the entire horde through the door and just wipe them out. I don't know if that's going to be the smartest play. But that's the play that I'm going with right now. And fingers crossed, it works. All right, we've got some zombies. Oh, no, this is bad. This is bad. This is really... I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. No, I'm not. I'm dead. Okay, fair enough. It didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. Oh, that's not good whatsoever. I don't know why I did that as well. All of them points wasted. I thought I could be cheeky, like go ahead and just do it all in one go. But obviously this gun is not it. Right, so we now know we can't just bring a whole horde into that room and just take out the zombies. It's just not going to work. The room is just too narrow. It's too much. And uh, yeah, we're going to have to try and think of a new tactic. Negan is back on the map again. Right, here we go. I mean, we might as well go for round two, right? Hopefully this works this time. I mean, oh my God, this, what is, what? Lads, I'm dead. I'm dead again. Oh my goodness. Every single time I go into this poxy flipping room, I just die. I won't lie to you. This could be lights out. Honestly, every single... Oh, this is bad. Wow. Go, 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 go. Ooh, this is bad. We're going to die. We're going to die. We're going to die. And we survived. Wow, we actually survived that. I don't know how, but we actually survived that. I need to go ahead and grab myself junk ASAP. Oh my goodness. All right, let's just start reducing this horde because it is ridiculous. There are so many zombies. It's actually nuts. Right, I've got another horde of zombies, but I, I don't know, man. I'm worried. Oh, I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm worried. This is not, but this gun is just so, it's so pants. Honestly, it is so bad. We have, um, we have a zombie block. Get it. I'm not even taking no chances. I don't even care. At this point, I don't care. Right, quickly. We need to be really, really fast with this as well, because obviously it's timed. So is there going to be a fuse on him? Oh, look at that. Look at that. We actually smashed it. We actually smashed it. We got it first time. And I'm assuming this is the place where we go ahead and put it down. Yeah, it is. All right, cool. All right, here we go. A massive horde of zombies all lined up. All we've got to do is spray, spray and pray. And all of the souls are just going to go straight into the thing. How many do we fill up? Is it done? All right, nice and easy. So the blood soul thing is now completed, as you guys can see. Um, I just need to go ahead and get some new weapons. Because this PKM, it's trash. 
It is really, really garbage. It doesn't kill zombies as effectively as I wanted it to. So this guy needs to go. I also need to go ahead and still fill up the soul box inside here. But I've just struggled to fill it up. As you guys can see, I went down twice. Can you believe it? But um, turns out it's actually filled. Go ahead and open the mystery box as well. I need new guns. This PKM is just awful. And what do we get? We get the M16. Nice. Okay. Go ahead and grab a speed cola as well. Nice. We just managed to go ahead and grab ourselves the classic M4 from Modern Warfare 2. Look at this baby. Right. Next up, we need to go ahead and we need to find the furnace fuse. So we need to go ahead and essentially turn on Pack-A-Punch. Um, again, what we need to do is go ahead and turn these three lights on or like put in the, you know, basically punch in the correct code. Now, one of the papers can be found over here by the red little candle and that is going to be number one. And then let's go ahead and punch in one like so. And then the blue candle is going to be uh, where the blue, like, you know, the bit where I kept dying, this place over here next to the MP5. If you come into this room, apparently it's just over here. And that's also going to be number one. Now, as far as I'm aware, the codes can actually change every single game. So whatever my code might be here now, it could be completely different in your game. And then the yellow candle is going to be inside the power room. So I believe it's going to be over here. There we go. Right. So the number is going to be number two. Let's go ahead and punch in the last one. So one, two, and then this door is going to open, I believe, like so. And then we can go ahead and grab ourselves a cheeky max ammo. And there is a wrench on the floor that we need to go ahead and pick up as well. Now, with this wrench, we need to go around the map and essentially uh, turn these, like, these valves. So one of the valves are going to be over here. So let's go ahead and turn that. And there you go. That is one of the valves now done. Again, if you want to go ahead and locate that, you come into this room where like the main factory or the pool table is, and it's just to your right. And then another valve can be found right beside Jog, which is over here. And we just go ahead and just turn that one. And then I believe the last one should be by Speed Cola. And we already noticed that like towards the start of the game as well. But yeah, run through here and the valve should just be right here, which is opposite Speed Cola. Now, if I'm correct, the Packer Punch should now be available and we can go ahead and pack apart our weapons and as you guys can see already the flames have disappeared all of the danger has gone and let's go ahead and pack a punch the m4 classic from modern warfare 2 here we go oh look at this shepherd's demise i'm loving the name as well and the camo is so damn clean i'm trying to do a weapon inspect but it's not letting me i mean i can do it with the car 98 as you guys can see but i can't do it with the pack weapon no it is not good though look at that oh that is lovely kind of reminds me of like shadows of evil but me personally this camera looks way nicer now the next step to the easter egg is we need to go around the map and shoot eight teddies now if you guys remember there was a door around here somewhere around here there you go this one here that says you need to shoot eight teddies and then it'll open up so uh the first teddy is going to be located by speed cola right in this corner so let's go ahead and shoot that and then we have a second teddy bear which is going to be over here this is the spawn area you simply like if you find yourself to the ebr just come over to this corner with the white truck and the teddy bear should be it's oh there it is it's right above me wow it's in front of my face and i missed as well and i missed again i'm shocking but so the third teddy bear can be located by electric cherry it's going to be right up on this landing let's go ahead and shoot that and then following that if you run into the power room you're going to see another teddy bear right here in the corner by the body which is near mule kick now that's four teddies down but we still have another four to go if we go ahead and make our way to the jug there's going to be another teddy bear which should be underneath the staircase hidden away look at that look how cheeky that is and i've missed again ha <laughs> how do i keep missing and there was also a shield part that i just picked up as well and next to jug if you run down to the dead shot uh in the far distance somewhere over here just there we go right up here there's gonna be another teddy bear so we go ahead and shoot that one and then the final teddy bear i believe this is the final one if it isn't i mean we just have to go ahead and find another one but the final teddy bear should be inside this room um it should be I actually don't know where it is exactly, but oh, there it is. It's right here. There we go. Let's go ahead and shoot that. So just to clarify, if you come into the the uh, the main factory area, this place over here, you're going to locate the AK-74 you will buy. Come over to this section and it's going to be sitting right up there. Oh, yeah, I believe we forgot one more as well, which is crazy. But if you come over to the entrance, there's going to be one hidden right in this corner. Unbelievable. Right by the stairs. Now, if done correctly, that red door that was locked beforehand should now be open and we can go inside. Here we go. Moment of truth. Is the red door going to be open? Yes, it is. And inside this door, we can go ahead and grab ourselves a crossbow. There we go. Take back Daryl's crossbow. I'm sorry. The car has to go. Look at this, baby. The, oh, my goodness. I'm holding Daryl's crossbow. Can you believe it? 
And this ain't even the best part. We can actually go ahead and pack a punch this bad boy. Oh boy, look at it. Look how good this looks. Oh my goodness, it looks so freaking awesome. We even got fire at the end of the crossbow. Can you believe it? Which means every single time you shoot this bad boy, it should be explosive, right? Or at least the zombies will catch fire. Hey, look what I've just found. PhD. Yo, can we actually get up there? I think we can. Oh, don't tell me it's a troll. No way. Is it a troll? Can we actually mantle? Lads, we can mantle up here. Oh my goodness, let's go. I can't even buy it. I'm broke. But still, at least we can go ahead and buy it if we need to. Oh, that's made me happy, man. Normally with maps, right, it's a troll. It's an absolute troll. Right, so now what we need to do is simply uh, wait for Negan to spool back into the map. And then we need to kill him. We need to grab his bat. And then we need to break down a door. And then we need to do something else. I don't know entirely. I think we need to grab something behind this broken down door. But for now, it is a dog round, so let's go ahead and wipe out these dogs. I mean, now that we have a Pack-A-Punch weapon, life should become a lot more easy. I mean, I went down twice before because, uh, you know, I'm going to blame the room. I'm going to blame the room. It's not bad gameplay. It is not. You're a liar. It's not bad gameplay. It is bad room. Bad room design. I refuse to believe it was me. I'm not having it. We go take out this last dog, and that was shocking accuracy, but there you go. Oh, boy. Negan's just spawned in. Negan is on the map. Oh my goodness, there are so many zombies. Let me whip out this crossbow. Look at this boy. Ooh, let's go. Oh yes. As you can see, the zombies are still burning as well. We're getting hit markers left, right, and center. Hello, Mr. Negan. Let's slide past you. You know what? We're going to do it again. We are going to do it again. Three, two, one. Shoot out. Oh, look at that. Look at him go. Let's go ahead and shoot this guy. He's probably going to take me a lot of bullets to kill him. But um, it is what it is. I mean, we just have to keep on shooting him left, right, and center. Uh, the, the, the M4 right now, look at the way he runs. Why does he run like that? <laughs> he runs so weird. He's just running like left and right like a crazy person. But yeah, if we just focus on headshots, which we've clearly not been doing, we've just been getting pure body shots. But there you go. But yeah, if we just focus on the head, there we go. Nice and easy. Boom. Let's go ahead and grab the bar. Uh, the bad thing is this is timed and I don't really have a lot of time, but we need to try and locate the, uh, the broken down barrier. As you can see, oh, this is sad. This is actually sad because I don't know where the, uh, the, and it's gone. Great. Oh, I'm actually, I'm raging. I'm actually raging inside. We literally had it in our hands and we had to just waste it. I guess that's my own fault. That is my own fault because obviously I wasn't prepared. I mean, what's behind this door? Let me go ahead and open it up. Is it more? It is more area. Great. Fantastic. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. It was right here. All we had to do was buy the door and it was, oh, that's sad. That is savage. That's actually savage. Well, I guess we're just going to have to wait until we get another bat. 15 minutes later. There we go. Finally, we have the bat. Let's go ahead and really quickly run to the uh, to the fence over here. Let's smash this open. And all we have to do now is grab this gold ingot bar. And now we have to make our way to the furnace, which is going to be over here. And you'll see a door that's wide open. Apparently, this is where the crossbow comes into place. So all you've got to do is simply shoot it. This will now come on fire. And then we place in the ingot. And as you can see, the gold must melt. So now we have to go like, I don't know, maybe two or three rounds. And another thing I found out as well, you see this crossbow? Yeah, there's more to it. It's simply, look, if you just shoot it, okay, great. There's a bit of fire, yeah? Lovely. But watch when you hold it, look. You can actually charge down this crossbow. And then once you release it, look what happens. Yeah, three, two, one, look at that. It turns into this like kind of Ragnarok style thing. And it just wipes out all of the zombies. And just by seeing that rock, it gives me like the Eisendrack vibes from like the elemental bows and stuff. So it's really, really cool wonder weapon right here. Right, I've got together a nice little horde of zombies. And look at this, right? We're going to go ahead and charge it. Three, two, one. Let go and look at that. Look at that. How insane is this weapon right here? It just wipes out all of the zombies. It's so damn good. This is definitely one of my favorite wonder weapons I've used this year. 100% without a doubt in my mind. This weapon is insane. Look at that. It just wipes people out so good, man. But yeah, like I said, we have to go a couple of rounds until the to the gold ingot actually melts. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy this bow, and then I will be back once it's melted. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, guys, it's round 25. We're gonna go ahead and check on the furnace now, and it looks like it's done because the flame has gone out. And there you go. We can go ahead and pick up the key. Now this is the funny part, right? Remember when I said over here, I said we couldn't jump over the sandbags. Well, it turns out. You can actually jump over the sandbags. How in... <laughs> oh my god. And then you open up this door. And then inside this room, you should be able to go ahead and pick up the, the furnace fuse. And as you guys can see as well, I actually went ahead and changed uh, one of my weapons. So I traded out the M4. And I managed to go ahead and pick up the Orion. Now the Orion shotgun packer punch is an absolute beast. This thing shreds. Every single time I play a map that has this, I just have to go ahead and upgrade it. 
Now, of course, we already have the fuse, so we can go ahead and insert it here. And just like the other two, we just fill this up with souls. But the best thing about this is, like, if you ever get in a trapped corner, whip out this bad boy, charge it up, shoot it, and look at that. They just get absolutely smoked. They don't even have a chance. Honestly, they don't have a chance. This thing is just too good. The only bad thing is I don't think the Wonder Weapon actually collects souls. Unless, unless we're just too far away from the actual soul collector. Maybe that's what it was. Right, well, we've just gone ahead and filled it up. So we can go ahead and make our way back outside now. Because we don't actually need to be in this factory any longer. So, uh... That's the good news. We can actually go ahead and leave this place. And I believe the last step, and I don't quote me on this. I don't know if it is 100% the last step, but we should be able to go ahead and make our way to this teleporter. And there is going to be a lockdown process. Now, I don't know how long it's going to be. I have no idea if we, we have to like go X amount of rounds or it's going to be based on time. I don't know. But if you know me, I don't like lockdowns. I hate them with a passion. They're so stressful. But you know what? Screw it. We're going to dive straight in. Let's go ahead and initiate the lockdown. And here we go. Oh boy, this is it. I mean, I'm not even going to go ahead and chop up the gameplay. I'm just going to go ahead and just take my time. I'm going to go ahead and just kill zombies and just vibe. And if things go really, really bad, then yeah, again, I have the crossbow as well. So I can just whip that out. I think, um, I mean, by glancing at it, I feel like it's going to be timed. That's why I honestly feel like. But I don't know. It's, it's just, I'm just eyeballing it. Let's go ahead and whip out the crossbow. It's not actually not that stressful as we speak. I mean, like, again, we do have some beefcake weapons. But uh, if Negan spawns in, could be a problem. Because, again, once you, uh, like, shoot him once or twice, he just goes berserk. And it's pretty much lights out in here, especially when we're trapped. But then again, we do have to pack a bunch of Orion, which is an absolute beefcake. And the best thing about it is, let me go ahead and reload. Look at this. 50 bullets in the clip. 50 bullets so i could just go ahead and just spray like a madman like so and just wipe out everyone it's that good oh max ammo yes oh that is perfect let's freak it go oh, i could not get any better let's go ahead and whip out the crossbow again just charge it i'm literally just gonna rinse this i mean i know i said i wasn't gonna chop it but let's face it like i do need to concentrate as well so at some times i might chop it while i'm in this arena plus at the same time if it's like five minute lockdown then <laughs> I'm not going to be talking for five minutes. I don't know what to say. I won't lie to you. I have no idea what to say. Apart from saying this map is insane. You should go ahead and try it out for yourself. Bros is an absolute legend. There we go. There we go. As soon as I said Bros is an absolute legend, the entire map uh, just unlocked for me. Look at that. I've just noticed as well that all of the zombies have a red outline on them. So I'm trying to figure out which perk is actually giving me that. I feel like it might be Death Perception. I, I mean, I didn't really play a lot of Black Ops, uh, Black Ops 4. So I won't lie to you. I'm not entirely sure if it is that perk. It probably is. I won't lie. But yeah, as far as I'm aware now, once you go ahead and complete the lockdown, there should be a Bible ending right here on the teleporter for 25,000 points. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and activate it just because I have 50,000 points and we are done. Look at that. 26 rounds. Easter egg completed. Let's freaking go. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, comment down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I will see you in the next one.